Uh, hello and good evening. Happy Valentine's Day week. Uh, my name is John. We're playing Secura Sadist as part of my Steam cleaning series. I got every game in my Steam library. Eventually, then arbitrarily wait and or review them until we get a playtime. I don't quite know what the game is. The game's out at random. Um, we're going to start. Oh, jeez. Okay. This is a way to start. Uh, Azusa... Uh, no, Mamiko, Mamiko's face is much soft, pale pink. I wanted to take a photo of it so I can keep it and hold it forever and ever, but that would probably spoil the mood. I'd have to dig my phone out of my pocket. You don't have pockets. You don't have shorts. I'm on where my shorts are since, so okay, three more off the moment passion. Really, the whole thing would have been a huge waste of time and totally not worth it. Capital letters. Now I'm fine. Not, not now that I'm fine with her. My idol. Matsubara Mamiko. We happen to go to the Victoria Academy of Music, which you probably don't since it's super exclusive. Like, I do have a girlfriend. She's real. She's at the Ac Victoria Academy of Music, which, you know, you wouldn't know her because it's really exclusive. You know about Mamiko. Everyone knows about Mamiko. She's like a genius to learn how to play, her, play air. What? Air on the G string on her violin before most kids knows how to say the first words. Not only that, but she's also insanely good at piano, the clarinet, and the harp. Who plays harp in the day and age? I mean, seriously, plenty of people. She can sing too, and I don't just mean she can sing like she can really sing. She's a soprano. Oh, one of the sopranos. In the university choir, she's pretty much the, all the solo rows. You know what the really crazy part is? No, what is the really crazy part? The other girls in the choir don't even mind, though they're super catty and nearly always gossiping because Miko is so nice and kind and pretty and <laughs> that has really huge boobs. Okay, maybe the huge boobs are irrelevant. Man, yeah, my bad, but it's true. Mamiko really does have huge boobs. Huge boobs. I can tell because I can feel them. I can finally feel them. I wait. Is this really gonna be like Immediate Res? Are we gonna flash back? It's not just like a dream. Azusa. <sighs> Our breasts are so large, I can't even come with my hands. Happy Valentine's Day. Spill around my fingertips, all soft around like, I don't know, marshmallows. What? <laughs> Though I prefer marshmallows my hot cocoa, I don't usually grope. Who wrote this? And by groping isn't a very nice word. I never grope a sophisticated pretty lady like Mamiko. Fondle then. Maybe that sounds better. So I fondle Mamiko's breast gently through the fabric of her bra. Azusa! Mamiko sounds so shy and helpless. It makes me want to dig my fingers into her skin a little harder. I want to hear her moan. I want to watch her squirm. Maybe I'm kind of a sadist. Oh, there's the title card. I'm not a control freak like Murray, but when it comes to Mook, I just can't help myself. I'm getting hot. My body feels like it's burning. I start rubbing my thighs together. The friction is delicious. It's almost unbearable. I moan. I can't help myself. Nug, ug, meh. But I'm not the only one. Azus. Azuzu. I wanted to hear Mamuka say my name like this for I don't know how long. It feels like forever. Is this just going to be one scene? Okay, now we're flashing back. All right. Ooh. When I first enrolled at Victoria Academy, super exclusive, I saw Miko standing beneath one of the many cherry blossom trees that lined the campus, her long hair fluttering in the breeze. I didn't want to put a picture of that because why would I show? Um, I was lost and didn't know where to go. Mamiko helped me find my way around. She did so politely too with a small smile like she actually wanted help. Well, maybe she did. She treated me so kindly though we were complete strangers. She asked for my name. I stammered shyly and I'm not usually shy. I was... All right, Miss Yuzi. Pleasure to meet you. It was my pleasure meeting her too, though I really, really wish she'd call me my first name. Not Miss Uzi, Uzi, Azuzu, Azuzu. And now finally, oh, hey, look, it's that image we had up earlier. Azuzu, Azuzu. I mean, uh, it sounds better than I imagined. It feels better than I imagined. How is it? Nice. Don't stop, please. That's some good pillow talk. Wasn't planning on it. I gave her my best debonair grin which Marie always says makes look like a pervert and give Makizira's Mamiko's breast another squeeze her nipples are hard I can see a line through her <laughs> beneath her bra I bet they're cute and pink just like her cheeks ah now I want to pinch them maybe I'll pinch them <laughs> treat her gently no I couldn't possibly do that not my Mamiko she's so delicate like a doll I wouldn't want to cause her any pain even the nubs of her nipples do look rather appealing I swallow I shallow I wait hold on Log. Why well, won't you scroll down? I swallow. Shall yeah, I swallow. I have to control myself. My self esteem never been the best. It's, it's like I usually take no questions. I always stole Maria's pudding. What? We were in kindergarten today. I always stole Maria's pudding back when we were in kindergarten today. Back when we were in kindergarten today. That doesn't sound right. I made her cry on a couple of occasions, so maybe I'm a bully, so what? I can restrain my urges when I'm a Miko. Some of them, at least. She's so adorable, I can't stop myself from kissing her. 
Uh, no. My lips meet Mimiko. Her tongue slides in my mouth. It's wet, warm. Uh, no. -ha. She gasps into the kiss, moaning hopelessly. With her mouth open, lips pursed, she's allowing me full access. I tie my tongue to her, sucking a little before I draw back. A shimmering strand. Ugh. Slava collects her part and lips together. It hovers in the air lewdly like a gossamer thread. A zoo, zoo. You, um, yes? I lick my lips. What? That, um, it was. She glanced at one side shyly. That was my first kiss. Aw. What? How could a girl like Mamiko go so long without ever being kissed? It's a scandal. I'll have to set that straight. Then I'll be more than happy to give you lots, lots more of them. Ah, a zoo, zoo. A zoo, zoo. I, uh, kaya. She's falling apart. What? <laughs> Mamiko's breasts are so soft. As I need them, I bring my lips against her neck. I can swear I can feel the fluttering or heart beating with my fingertips. Or maybe it's just my imagination, but I can hear my own heart beating. It's pretty loud. It's pounding in my ears over and over. Azuzu. 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 Mamiko. And then... Azuzu. I feel pressure against my shoulder. Fingers gripping my skin hard. Really hard. Ow. Amiko would never handle me so roughly. It can't be her. In fact, I don't think it was ever her. Oh, it was a dream all along. Nug. I blink and all of a sudden I'm... F what is this music? It's like a... Like a... A remix of like one of the Chocobo songs. The... From Final Fantasy. No, it's Kefka's theme. It's like a remix of Kefka's theme. Um, I blink and all of a sudden a fantastical scene before my eyes dissolves. It melts away just like the poor marshmallows in my hot chocolate. Leaving behind nothing more than a sticky... <laughs> okay. Leaving behind nothing more than a sticky, gooey mess. I'm in my bedroom, curled in my bed, clinging to a stuffed pillow. I'm even drooling. Gross. My eyes are all crusted with over with sleep. Double gross. Uh, why must life be so cruel? I wet my eyes with the back of my arm. It was just a dream after all. I should have known. It would be a dream. Uh, wake up, Azuzu. You're going to be late for your 9 a.m. meeting with Professor Shibata again. Professor Shibata, screw him. I wish I could snuggle down on my blankets to get a few more minutes of sleep. Sleep sounds really nice right about now, especially if I can dream about her again. Mamiko. Mamiko on her flush face, matching her matching underwear, her soft. Azuzu. But instead, I'm stuck with this serious looking girl with a frowny face. Uh, Simono Mari. Well, her real name is actually Marilyn. Hmm? But she gets pissy when people call her that, so better not to. Not if you value your life. Why Why is that an interesting fact? Tell Mari you're getting up. All right, all right, I'm getting up, Mari. You better. Mari, glare me your hands on her hips. You're such a lazy, good-for-nothing Azuzu. I'm surprised you ever be to open your eyes in the morning. He, I resent that I'm completely good for nothing. No, that's true. I give credit where credit's due. You're rather good at being late to appointments, forgetting engagements, and saying appropriate things at appropriate times. Wow, thanks, wifey. I love you, too. I get my to my feet and give Mariko a quick kiss on the cheek. What? What? She pouts and folds her arms and doesn't want to push me. Maybe she got used to it after the, all these years I've finally worn her down. Huh. That sounds kind of abusive, actually. Uh, maybe. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, this is sadist. I saw, saw it model myself relieve, still relieving my, reliving my dream as I get dressed. Is this us? Huh. Have some shame, would you? I don't... Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, so we're... Why did we... I don't know what that word means. Maybe I should buy you a dictionary. Silly Mari, does my naked body really excite you? Why? No, not really. I just think it's a proper. You shouldn't strip down and drop a hat. But how else am I supposed to get... Oh. Could you wait to find out of the room? But we've been friends for so long, I thought you wouldn't mind. I mean, we used to take baths together. That was a long time ago, Azuzu. Who cares? You should care. Well, how about this? I smile. Why don't you look at it as a free service? What do you mean, service? But Mari doesn't leave. Says she harums potly and turns her head. Whatever, just hurry up. Can do. I retrieve my clothes, which are scattered all over the floor, and start to pull them on. Hmm. I frown pan down my chest with my hands. It's not like they're small, but compared to Mimiko's. Hair to Mari. Stop staring at my chest, Azuzu. Ah, how did you know I was staring? Because you are always staring. Boo, I thought I was being subtle. You're about as subtle as a fist to the face. Now hurry up. Yes, ma'am. I get Mario's salute and finish tugging on my shorts. So you, so it was just a glitch, I think. So Mari, what's for breakfast? Who said I made you any breakfast? Please, does she think I'm stupid or something? You always make breakfast. You're in the university now, Zuzu. You're old enough to cook for yourself. And I'm old enough to get go to prison and have to burn down my dorm. You're such a spoiled brat. I know, right? 
Urgh, my race eyes. What am I going to do with you? Love me forever and ever. I bet my eyelashes hurt wisdom winsomely. Mari groans, pushes me away. Wow, how could you? Quite easily, but but, ra but rabbits die when they get lonely, Marie. Then it's a good thing you're not a rabbit now. No, I'm Major and Omelette sitting on the pan on the stove. Ah, I knew it. All according to plan. Yay, I love you, Mari. You're the best. You have to eat it quickly, all right? You have 20 minutes. Can do. I'm an unstoppable machine when it comes to food. I can eat my weight and rice under a minute. Whenever I go to all you buffets, the serving staff ends up in tears. Maria says that's something I shouldn't boast about. I disagree. Boop. The campus of Victoria Academy Music is pretty nice. I mean, you expect it to be nice since it's so exclusive. Plus, coming here costs a lot of money. Marie would never have been able to afford it if she wasn't won that scholarship. Marie's always been so studious. She spent high school days locked away in a room, plant, pouring over books. I hardly ever could see her back then. Whenever she did emerge from a room, more like crypt, her face was frightened, white and pale. She had some huge bags in her eyes, too. I guess her hard work paid off in the end, but if I had worked as hard, Marie, I wouldn't have chosen to come here out of all places. Not that I don't have a choice. My family never lets me decide what I want to do. Oh, well. Complaining would probably sound ungrateful, and nobody really wants to hear that anyway. I ignore it. I'll ignore it. I'm pretty good at doing that. Instead, I stretch, raise my arms up ahead, and joins click. Uh, a really beautiful day. Be that as it may, you shouldn't do that. What? Click your joints. Why not? Oh, and why not? <laughs> You'll get arthritis when you're older. I don't think that's true. And when we play, we'll play the cello anymore. Like, that'd be a huge loss. What, whoever shed a tear over once, once cello. Come on, Marie, lighten up a little. I'm not lighting up. This is your future we're talking about, Azuzu. Someone has to worry about it, even if you don't. Well, um, I'm sure it'll work out somehow. That's pretty much everything. Exactly. We're too young to worry about all this stuff. You might well not worry about it. Rich family, I guess you're the point. It's too early in the morning. I'm not really finding myself too enamored with these characters. Can't help but worry. You can worry about yourself. Sure, I'll be able to find my own. I'm certain about that. Cats always land on their feet. You're not a cat. I curl one hand in a paw and bat painly at Mari's shoulders. Nya. Stop it. Nya, nya. Seriously, cut it out. Nya way. Why not? Why would you ever tell you to do? Because you never really mean the things you say. What? Hey, he, he. I know you like tension in Mari. Nah, nah. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a cat person, aren't you? My dad's allergic, but you always used to stop at Miss, Mrs. Kawakami's house on the way to school. Pet her cute torty. I was an old, and the cats are bite things, leave hair everywhere. And nya nya, you're not even a cat. Honestly, I think you act more like a dog. Excuse meow. You're so noisy, you always bound about everywhere. That's definitely something dogs do. So you want to see me in a collar? Uh, that isn't what I meant. You're taking this the wrong way. Why are you always so perverse? I'm not perverse. You're the one who's thinking lewd thoughts about me, Mari. I'm not just... What? Okay. This has been Secure Sadist. Cheers. <laughs>